So you ever thought you were in love and every day was like walks on the beach, puppy dogs and rainbows. And then one day you actually did fall in love and it was like a punch to the face. And it made you realize that all the other times that you thought were in love weren't the real thing. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like the time I thought I had food poisoning and then it wasn't really like I had food poisoning because when I got food poisoning for real, it felt like a punch to the face and then, 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 all right. Now I'm not sure if I'm in love with the Tudor Black Bay 58, but after wearing it for a couple of weeks, I think I'm pretty close. Now before we flip the camera and check out the specs, please remember to like and subscribe below. I really do enjoy these videos and I hope you do too. Here we are, the Tudor Black Bay 58. Got a 39 millimeter case, 11.9 millimeter thickness. Uh, there are 47 millimeter um, lug to lug, a 20 millimeter um, lug, uh, lug width bracelet that tapers down. Um, got a nice little clasp here with that nice little satisfying click, three micro adjusts. Um, this has the in-house MT5402 movement with a 70 hour power reserve. Um, and this watch, I have a six and three quarter inch wrist and, uh, this watch at this size, a 39 millimeter, uh, case diameter, 47 millimeter lug to lug really fits, fits like a dream. This really is the sweet spot in size for me. I have a, uh, Zenith El Primero that is, um, 38 millimeters and a 47 millimeter lug to lug and, uh, and it fits really, really well too. And, uh, you know, at times I don't even realize that this uh, doesn't even feel like the watch is on. And then the other times when I know that the watch is on, I'm just staring at it and looking at the gilded hands and the snowflake hands. And, um, man, I, I really was not into the snowflake hands at first. I hated them. And they, and they grew on me. And then uh, when I saw this watch, uh, when it was released in Basel World uh, in 2018, I just knew I had to have it. Have it and eventually uh, I'll, I'd, I'd get it. And, and, and here it is, and I've had it for the last couple of weeks. And uh, man, there's, there's not, I, I don't have really much to complain about this watch. I really, really don't. I know people, you know, complain about the, the faux rivets on the side, the bracelet here, and you know, whatever, whatever. If that's, if that's your only complaint, then I think you're nitpicking. Um, I do, I, what struck me a little bit odd though when I received the watch was, um, was actually the box and you know um, compared to some other the luxury watches that I had you know the the presentation of the box was was much more robust I would say um, so I was kind of slightly disappointed but at the end of the day you know this box goes in a closet right I'm not going to show it off like my kids trophies um, so uh, so it is what it is it's not that big of a deal um, so you know let's let's forget about that complaint you know um, anyway, um, you got a sapphire dome crystal here, which is also a little bit of a nice little throwback of polished sides of the case, uh, satin brush, uh, bracelet, uh, the Tudor, uh, rose, uh, right there on the, uh, on the crown and the Tudor shield right underneath the 12 o'clock. Um, look, I mean, this this uh, this watch uh, you know has been on my wrist for the last couple of weeks. I I don't see it leaving my wrist for any time soon. Um, I actually had um, the thought the other day. I was I was staring at the at the watch, uh, and I thought to myself, man, could I could I just live with this watch alone? Get rid of all my other watches and just have a a one watch, be a one watch guy, one watch collection. And uh, I entertained that thought, you know, for a few minutes, and then you know I came to. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, I reserve the right to change my mind, you know, at any time. So, um, a few months down the road, a few years down the road, maybe, maybe, uh, the Tudor Black Bay 58 will be the only watch I need and I don't need the, uh, the other guys, but, um, or until I fall in love with the next watch. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, uh, not much more I can say about this, uh, this watch. So, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, wrap this up. The Tudor Black Bay 58 enjoys a whole lot of fanfare out there, and deservedly so. And if whether you're looking to add a 
vintage looking inspired watch with a lot of history to your collection or something you could wear every day. You don't need to go too far. 